U.S. President Joe Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden reported a drop in income as their tax returns for the year 2020 have been released. This marks a return to the practice of U.S. presidents releasing their personal financial information. The Bidens have reported income of more than $600,000 in the year 2020. This is down from more than $900,000 earned in 2019. During the 2020 presidential race, Biden's campaign said that the Bidens had made $11 million in 2017 and $4.6 million in 2018. The Bidens say that they have paid $157,414 in federal income tax in 2020. Their federal income tax rate has been estimated at 25.9%. 20 According to a financial disclosure filed with the Office of Government Ethics, the Bidens reported holding cash and investments between $1.2 million and $2.88 million. This comes in stark contrast to former U.S. President Donald Trump, who had sought to keep his financial record secret. During the crucial phase of the 2020 presidential run, the New York Times had reported that Trump paid only $750 in federal income taxes in 2016 and 2017. It was also reported that Trump had not paid taxes at all in 10 of the last 15 years. Biden's tax returns have been released at a time when he has been pushing for raising taxes on the wealthy to fund his infrastructure plans. The White House has also released tax returns for Vice President Kamala Harris and Second Gentleman Doug Emhoff. They reported a combined income of $1,695,225. Most of this came from Emhoff's work at a law firm. They paid $621,893 in federal tax at a rate of 36.7%. Harris and Emhoff's earnings have also been reported to be substantially lower than 2019. They had reportedly earned more than $3 million and paid more than $1 million in taxes.